You don't wake up dressed and ready to go with your makeup on, ready to take on the day? <laughs> Just kidding, obviously I don't either. This is actually what I look like when I wake up in the morning. For real, I am gonna show you guys my morning routine so that you guys can get your day started off productive and on the right foot, ready to take on the day too. Okay, so I wake up anywhere between 5.30 and 6 usually. I get up, I brush my teeth, and then I throw my workout clothes on right away because if I have my clothes on, I'm going to make it happen. If I start delaying even getting ready, then there's a chance I might not make my workout that day. So that's my first pro tip is get up early because you went to bed early, right? I already showed you my evening routine. Get your workout clothes on that you already laid out the night before. My gym bag is already packed. My lunch and my breakfast are already prepped. So then I'll show you what I do next before I leave for the gym. Okay, so after I get up, I get myself ready, I change, my gym bag's already packed, remember? Then I come in here and I have about 15 to 20 minutes of quiet time to set my intentions for the day. So for me, that looks like filling out my question a day journal and then filling out my other journal where I write down things that I'm grateful for, so practicing gratitude and writing down my dreams for what I want to accomplish going forward to just kind of, I don't know, stay positive, look into the future. And then with any remaining time, I usually try to meditate for at least five minutes. So that'll look different for everybody, but I really think that having 15 to 20 minutes in the morning to kind of center yourself is so important. Quiet time, whether that's praying, meditating, journaling, staying off of social media, and preferably screens in general. I just think that it really sets the tone for your day and gets you started on the right foot. So, and as far as the journaling goes with the gratitude and the, the dreams that I want to accomplish, that's a Rachel Hollis practice. So if you don't know who she is, she wrote some really great books that I recommend reading, Girl, Wash Your Face, Girl, Stop Apologizing. So that's where I got that practice from. And then if I haven't already, I'll use the little bit of remaining time to write my workout for the day, but usually I do that the night before. So that's just kind of if I'm scrambling and I didn't get to it last night, then I'll do it in the morning. So that's what I do with my time after I get ready, and then I'll show you my last step before I head out the door. Okay, so then with my last chunk of time before I need to race out the door to head to the gym, I throw all of my breakfast and lunch foods into my lunchbox with an ice pack, and then I'll drink my smoothie on my way to work after the gym, and then I have my lunch all ready to go, because remember I packed it the night before, which if you haven't watched my nightly routine, then go back and watch that video, because I walk you through how I set everything up the night before, that way it takes the minimal amount of time in the morning. So all that stuff's packed up, ready to go. I just have to throw it in a bag with an ice pack, grab it, fill up my water bottle. Sometimes I'll take my vitamins before, but usually I'll do that after, just so, I don't know. I don't want to get nauseous. Sometimes they make me nauseous if I take them on an empty stomach. But that's it. That's how I'm able to get out the door, usually within 45 minutes from waking up head to the gym, knock out my workout, and then I head to work. And that way I'm already off to a good start for the day. I got a bunch of stuff done for my personal growth and my personal health before I even walk into the office. So there are some tips to help you guys make sure you get your workouts in and eat some healthy foods because you set yourself up for success the night before. And then you took some quiet time in the morning to kind of ease into the day. Set your intention intentions.